Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you. Your Sunday evening can't be complete without your Darprim on TV. Welcome to The Advocate on Plus TV Africa. It's a panel of five with five topical issues. Definitely five thought-provoking topics discussed in an atmosphere of seriousness, decisiveness and laughter. But calling a spade by its name. Like we say here, no holes barred. Today, I'll be talking about the leadership loop in Nigeria. Evans is not in Ukwani today, but however, he's just coming from the rabbi and is bothered by the prevalent power of foolish people in our polity. The issue of population planning is on the mind of Bolahon, while Liberus is shouting from the rooftop as he draws our attention to the recolonization of Nigeria by the Chinese. And finally, Jumoke, in her controversial self, is asking who the Nigerian Senate is representing. We know you're here with us. We'll be back soon. Between ancient and modern, the leadership loop in Nigeria. It is disturbing to hear the youth discountenance the old and experienced in governance and the management of life generally. The conversation is recurring everywhere, and so I've chosen to address it today. In my book, Memories of Grandma, I reiterated the saying that, meaning there's a place for both the old and the young in life. And this underscores the principle of interdependency between the old and the young. While the young in Nigeria, now known as the Sorosuke generation, may say technology has changed the face of everything, it must be stated that this has not nullified the wisdom that experience brings from the elderly. Rather, it complements it. The good book says, the glory of young men and women is their strength, but the splendor of old men is in their gray hair. In other words, wisdom is often associated with age and experience, although there are some exceptions. The older you get, the wiser and better you become. So imagine a situation where you marry the two, experience and contemporary knowledge and technology. History is rich with important lessons the youth can learn from. Let's look at the success story of Latif Jaconde, a transformational leader. Who would have thought that he did all that he did in four years on a single term of administration of Lagos State and in the days of limited technology for that matter? While well, reference is often made to this, have we forgotten also that Alaji Jakonde had his tutelage under Chief Obafemi Awolowo, who's renowned for building the premier university and television house in West Africa? Any surprise that Latif Jakonde established Radio Lagos, LTV, and constructed the state secretariat Alausa. He also built the truly low-cost housing estates in Lagos within those four years. Indeed, the youth have a lot to learn from history and experience, especially with regards to leadership. In my early days on this program, we had a conversation about it. And two weeks back, Chuka's advocacy titled Africa, My Africa, reiterated the need for young ones to read up and learn from past leaders. I heard that familiar scoffing again. As I mused over this disturbing trend, I stumbled on Reverend Sam Adiemi's post on Twitter. I thought to myself, aha, my tribe. 
He said, with the elders see sitting down, a child cannot see if he leapt up as high as he could. It's a proverb that the young love to counter gleefully with technological advancement. They'll tell you, well, we use the drone to see everywhere. Truly, a drone can pick any object from far away. However, that's figuratively. There was a radio Kudarat before there was a radio Sorosuke. The thinking is the same, only that one, because of the times, is online. For the purpose of comparison, Governor Yahya Bello is said to be 45 years old, having been born in 1975, and Pa Jakonde was 50 when he governed Lagos. Both of them were relatively young. How come Jakonde was able to do all he did in four years, and in the sixth year of Yahya Bello, all we see is titular chest adulation and TV commercials, or being this and that, nothing concrete on ground. Prime Minister of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum is 71 years old. At the time the building of Dubai started, it was much younger. And, and so I'm throwing back the enough is enough slogan back at our youth in governance. Enough of posturing. If you can't best the records of people like Aolo or Sam Bakwe, Jack Onde, Meitama Sule, and the rest of them, don't discredit the experience of the old and don't scoff at their contribution or their history. In other words, the horse at the rear takes its bearing from the one ahead. You point a finger at the elderly saying they're old school, four of those are pointing right back at you. So we say, let's see what you can do in the shortest possible time with technology. We will try it. <laughs> we will really try. Well, I think this advocacy is very timeless uh, in the sense that... Um, We've had this running battle between the old and the young as regarding who is um, most relevant in the scheme of things in leadership. The discussion actually would have been unnecessary if actually after the colonial master left off with the elderly, they were able to organize Nigeria adequately such that the young of today will respect them effectively. Respect them effectively on the line because today you find a, a clear sum, not all the elderly, but a clear sum of them who have not done well at all. The, the, the little that the young met well was what the colonial masters left off. So, so that in itself has also inspired that rebellion. Mm. But I think that uh, while we, we, we understudy the issue, we must not discountenance the contribution of the elderly. But the elderly also, they can be very reckless sometimes. <laughs> They should never discountenance the contribution of youth in the scheme of things and in the economy of the Nigerian state. For me, um, this is, is, is a, it's a recurring decimal. And the young people have always been saying, oh, we want the opportunities. It's not as if those opportunities have not been there, really. Uh, some of these governors, like you mentioned, Yahaya, he was the youngest governor when he was voted. We've had governors who even became governor earlier. We have a, a Ruti Miyamichi was first a speaker before eight years as a governor, before becoming a minister. So why, by the time he was in the assembly in River State, he was a young man, a very young man. We have a Bauer who has been uh, um, authorized to be the chairman of EFCC. Controversially, yesterday. though. Controversially. So it's another platform to say, look, that level of responsibility, I, I, don't, I don't think it has been given to somebody that young in this republic. Will he live up to it? You, you, you see, uh, there's really no need for this debate. Um, there's no need whatsoever for it. Um, we're just deceiving ourselves. Because every old person you see today was, was, once, young. Young. was once young yeah. and in governance. Mm. They were in governance while they were young. And How failed. old was, was Buhari when he became federal minister? And, failed. and even the young people today, the young ones today who are shouting, and the ones that have been given opportunity are also the same. Mm -hmm. So that's why there's really no need for the debate. They're the same like how... I... The ones that... Look, you gave example with Yaya Bello. Mm -hmm. okay. Is that a representative of the young? 
<laughs> we had Sam. Well, he was. <laughs> he was. <laughs> yes, but yeah, that's he what I'm was saying. such a bright. So option, that's what I'm you saying. Know, this house gave example, You gave example with Amechi. Mm. We had Sanusi as the as the speaker of the House have, of um, Assembly when he was young. You have, um, and we had Amechi Bankoli. We had Amechi Bankoli. So that's what I'm telling you. He was in his thirties. Yes. Thirties. What did he do? So what is the scorecard? What did so, he do? So it's me, about competence, not age. Essentially, it's, it's the, the problem it's, has never been age. That's, it's, that's not, it's not about age. You have people who, at their 70s, are doing so well as if they're in 30s. And then you have 30 years who are so laid back and so backward in their thinking as though they were 80. So what we should be looking out for, for me, really, is not the age. If you even if you take some ask some people, they will tell you even the Sarasoki was a failure because the young people did not look back in time to learn. Precisely mm -hmm. the points I'm making. They say we're on You rocks. cannot discountenance the experience of the old. And the way yes. to not discountenance yeah, that yes. is to return to what they've done in the past and learn from it so that you don't make the I same mistakes. I tried correcting one. He told me, look, if you people can't support us, mm. get out. Some even uh -huh. think that theirs was the I, first protest yes, in I Nigeria. Told him, I said, That's why I said the before so was okay, there was Radio <laughs> Kudira. We I have think, been protesting. We have protested at the SAP riot. IBB must go That's June twelfth, and yeah. and so. Well, so said, what did you people do for us? What did we do for you? No, you yes. are saying that if all the things you are enjoying today it's were not the, the very old man, <laughs> <we're laughs> <from. Those laughs> you see, it is sad these days that I look at the university and I see nothing. These are young people who wants to take over, and I see nothing. No every awareness. Young student, every young student union activist now. You, they want to, to write big cars like the politicians that they are criticizing. Because they their want fathers to behave. have materialized that is where in they Nigeria. Missed it. But yes. when we did activism in the university, I'm not comparing, but I'm saying there's no need but for debate. But you can debate. compare. There's Look nothing back, wrong with that. Learn from what you're, where you're coming from so that you can shape the future better. Until you do that, you will just... Um, Our make... young people must go back and read. After the break, Evans goes to the rabbi.